Roosevelt once said, do one thing every day that scares you. She's one of the most inspiring, badass first ladies ever. So I took her advice, facing my fears, changed everything, and for the better. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I'm Molly Mogren Cat, and this is Hey Eleanor. As a comedy writer and improviser, Levi has zero issues getting on stage. Actually, I don't know what I expected. All I know is I didn't expect that. However, he secretly always wanted to try dance and martial arts. I guess he feels self-conscious about doing something with his body that isn't about getting laughs. On this episode of Hey Eleanor, we're killing two birds with one stone. Levi is taking a capoeira class. I'm worried about just feeling really embarrassed. Both like in the room and then part of my fear is like I'll love it and then I'll want to do it a ton and then I'll be that guy who won't stop talking about his Brazilian martial arts dancing. Capoeira is an Afro-Brazilian mashup of fight, dance, rhythm, and movement. It's sort of like Karate Kid meets West Side Story. Capoeira has appealed to me for years and years, but I have always been embarrassed to even try it. You know, like I'll watch a video of someone doing it, and I'm like, I'm so excited about this, and I'm very much, I want to do that kind of way and then immediately I just get embarrassed even by that feeling. Within seconds, we realize all those Capoeira YouTube videos make this stuff look easy. <laughs> there you go! Okay. Capoeira isn't a contact sport. They talk about it as a conversation between two people where you basically play fight. Like It's pretty intimidating because I don't feel graceful, nor do I feel like that kind of athletic. That is the scary part of it. Now that Levi and I officially can't feel our arms and legs, we're let loose in the final hold-up. We circle up with a dozen much more experienced capoeira players. I'd say entering the Hoda is intimidating, but it's not. Everyone is so welcoming, encouraging, and respectful. It's a collaborative environment that thrives on setting up your partner for success. In fact, it's a lot like improv, except for more sweating. I didn't realize how much play and improvisation were at the core of all of it. Like, it's about finding the game and playing with your partner and essentially doing good scene work. It was already this martial art form that I was drawn to. It's the same language and the same ideas as the art form that I've loved the most in my life. That's crazy. I'm shocked by that. I couldn't wipe the smile off my face. I don't know about you, but like, after my first two, when I stepped out, all of a sudden I was like, overwhelmed with emotion. Like, yeah. I almost started crying. Was, yeah, like, you joyful. would feel like you're part of something. The biggest takeaway, which seems really obvious, is like, if there's something that you seem really excited about, then go try it. I don't know if I can ever learn that too many times. That other fear that I would be too into it, like, that's much more the, the issue now, where I'm like, oh, I want to do this again tomorrow. Okay.